Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shakra and this video is going to be about the iconic bags from each luxury house. Well, from most <laughs> luxury houses. So the top iconic, the most notable handbags from these luxury designer houses. So if you're interested in seeing what these bags are and I feel like a lot of you guys will get them right, in the comment section, make sure to leave all of your guesses down below of what you think the top bags are from each fashion house so let's get into it so let's start off with Loewe and Loewe I feel like is kind of a more low-key fashion brand you know if you're into fashion if you're into designers and luxury then you'll know Loewe but if you're not then maybe you won't be too familiar but the puzzle bag from Loewe is my pick for their most iconic their most famous bag. I feel like that's the bag that really helps embody their whole brand and what their style is and I feel like that's the best way to really just look at the brand as a whole. The Loewe bag and all its variations. Next up is Bottega Veneta. Now for some of these fashion houses, I should have said this in the beginning, I'm going to pick two rather than one. If like you know there's really two not one, I'm gonna pick two guys so don't be surprised and I feel like a couple of you guys probably are thinking in your head hmm, some of these fashion places fashion houses there's more than one <laughs> so for Bodega Veneta I'm gonna pick two bags that I think are their most iconic bags so first is the Jody and I know first in the beginning the Jody we're all kind of just like I don't think this is gonna stick around I think it's just like another variation of like you know the pouch bag and blah 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 I don't I don't know but the Jody is here to stay we've all realized that and it's so versatile it's iconic from their fashion house and then second honestly I would have to say is the cassette bag I know a lot of you guys are like mm, I think that's going out of style no, it's not. It's still very much popular and it's still a signature look with the brand. The woven detail is still incorporated throughout other bags as well. So I definitely believe the cassette bag is one of their most iconic bags along with the Jody. All right, next up, let's just get this one out of the way and it is from Hermes. And as always, you guys definitely know what these two bags that I'm going to choose as their most iconic are. That is the Kelly and the Birkin. I feel like these two bags, they don't compare to like anything else when it comes to Hermes. I feel like next would be like the Constance, but I'm picking only two. So Birkin and Kelly. And I feel like as of late, I think the Kelly is kind of overtaking the Birkin just a little bit when it comes to more like, you know, fashion looks and more like you know when you see like the girls are a little bit more into fashion wearing I'm not saying like you know people who wear the Birkin are not like fashionable but I'm just saying I'm starting to see the Kelly kind of take a little bit you know a little bit more of the height when it comes to oh what should I pick if I have like you know Birkin or Kelly so definitely both are timeless and beautiful the Birkin's a little bit more relaxed you can wear it a little bit more like you know and not as mm, not as a dressed up manner compared to the Kelly and the Kelly is a little bit more ladylike of the two and a little bit more structured and yeah it gives a little bit more um, feminine um, energy Birkin still feminine too as well but you know what I mean okay so I just did Hermes so let me just jump to Chanel because you guys know Chanel is definitely on this list and for Chanel I was gonna pick two but I'm like truly it's just one bag that is the most iconic as of right now there is a second one that I'm toying with but I'm just gonna stick to one if you guys think you know what the second one would be leave it down in the comment section but the classic flap <laughs> the classic flap quilted classic flap from Chanel is mo most iconic yeah I'm gonna say most iconic um, bag from Chanel timeless classic dress it up dress it down goes with almost any style and that's the beautiful thing with this bag goes with almost any style you could dress it and style it whichever way you want and it's gonna work it's going to work so uh yeah so from chanel we have the classic flap 
Moving on to Dior and of course the Lady Dior. That is my pick and I have a second pick too from Dior but the Lady Dior is definitely most iconic one of the most iconic bags from Dior it's so ladylike it's something that you can just be dainty with you just feel so nice and like you know pretty but like you don't have not like girly pretty it doesn't have to be girly pretty with the Lady Dior if that makes any sense <laughs> but definitely the Lady Dior and then their other most iconic bag the saddle the saddle bag honestly i was not the biggest fan of the saddle bag but i do understand it now and i think it's better in the smaller sizes rather rather than the bigger sizes i think my overall thing with the saddle bag in the beginning was how are you going to fit things in that bag with the way it's shaped but it is what it is uh, <laughs> i just said go for the smaller one which you can't even fit too much in but the saddle bag um, and I feel like this bag it came it went came back staying it's gonna go again and it's gonna come right back so it's one of those bags that you're never gonna get rid of it so just always have the saddle bag in mind and I think for the saddle bag the reason why I am including this as one of the, like you know Dior's most iconic bags is because of the fact that like I said they keep reinventing that bag next up is Fendi and I feel like Fendi doesn't get the love it deserves it doesn't get the recognition it deserves sometimes and that's not great Fendi is such an iconic brand it's been around for so long it's timeless it's a staple so I would definitely pick two bags when I was doing my research a lot of people picked one bag only but I kind of feel like it should be it should be two bags not just one so of course first is the baguette the baguette bag I feel like definitely iconic definitely one of their classics top bags with them like sex in the city like every you've seen it I think the saddle bag and the um, baguette I feel like those are the two bags that were most like you know popular when sex in the city was around because like Carrie and all them when they were wearing them along with um like uh what's it called Monona Blahniks they got really big because of sex in the city but um like I'm diverging right now sorry guys <laughs> but yes the baguette bag so beautiful so timeless and it's simple like it's a very simple bag to have you know and it's one that like you know you just I feel like a baguette bag can't wear you you always wear the baguette bag and I think that's a timeless signature classic staple with this bag the fact that it can't wear you you always wear it and that's great second I'm going to say is the peekaboo I feel like a lot of people are like throwing that to the side or like forgetting about it and like why the peekaboo that's a great bag I love it I love the structure of it I know it's like you know a take on uh, Hermes and then you know Birkin and all that stuff too, but I love the peekaboo. It's beautiful I think it's just like the fact that you know, it's meant to be slouchy a little bit and show the front That's why it's kind of like called the peekaboo But I feel like that is a classic iconic bag from Fendi one of their tops and it should not be pushed aside Next up most iconic from Balenciaga and this is their city bag uh, this is on my wish list. Like, this is definitely on my wish list. I love it. It's gorgeous, beautiful. I think it's one of those bags that it looks great. Big, small, medium, whatever size, it works. The city bag. I, I feel like it's never going to go out of style. It's, you know, one of their... It is their most iconic bag, in my opinion. A couple of their other bags, they're trying to make it there, but it's too early to tell. But the city bag, always around. Variations, different variations of it always around and it's so signature Balenciaga and it really goes back to their roots of their style. I know Balenciaga can be kind of out there sometimes or just go in like um, extremes when it comes to directions but overall at their center they're still in that realm of the city of that style. Next up is Louis Vuitton LV. Now for this I picked two bags. The first bag I'm gonna tell you I'm not the biggest fan I feel like you guys are gonna be shocked because it's like just one of those bags that like even if you're not the biggest fan if you're a bag girl a purses girl handbag girl you kind of need to have it in your <laughs> collection just to have it but it's the speedy um <laughs> of course that's like one of their most iconic bags from LB but I don't know I just never got it 
but I I admire it you know I do have my respect for the speedy um, but that's definitely you know <laughs> one of the most iconic bags from LV I could not not pick that second is the Alma and I'm more in touch with this bag compared to the speedy I feel like the speedy the structure the way it, it just looks uh, it, just, it doesn't add up to me the Alma adds up to me and I think it's because it's a little bit more structured and I, I like more you know, structure when it comes to my bag so maybe that's why but the Alma definitely one of the most iconic bags from LV I feel like even though some people are like when you wear it you look dated I don't think you do you know I think you look dated in a classic sense if that makes any type of sense you look dated in a classic sense <laughs> but it's just it just works it works honorable mention is the Neverfull that is a definite honorable mention because that bag is still going crazy even though some people do not like to admit it it's it's still one of their top bags so let's move on to Prada Prada I had to pick two bags as their most iconic even though one of them I'm like I'm not here for it so with Prada if you've been on my channel if you've watched my other videos you know which bag that I'm going to say is one of their most iconic that I'm still trying to get a grasp on <laughs> and that is the re-edition <laughs> I respect it it's just not it's not it's not my bag okay <laughs> I respect it I respect the variations of it but it's not my bag and it's iconic it's one of the top bags from Prada so we'll leave it there so if you enjoy it I'm happy for you <laughs> and now also I believe the Galleria bag and I do have this bag and I think it's gorgeous in their Saffiano leather gorgeous one of their most iconic I think it rules it's like a little bit more like you know top compared to the re-edition when it comes to like you know listing I think because of the years and like you know the history behind the Galleria bag and I'm not dissing the re-edition guys like <laughs> I don't have anything against it it's just not my bag but I think of the two the Galleria is like just a little bit higher <laughs> on the list but I feel like it's just a timeless classic signature bag very simple very beautiful signature structure timeless structure timeless style it's not gonna leave it's never gonna leave it's always gonna be there at Prada next up is Chloe now Chloe is you know they have their own signature style of course it's a little bit more like what boho -y, chic -ish, I would say with Chloe and from there I've like looked at a lot of their bags and researched a lot about Chloe trying to see which one of their bag or bags really like you know is iconic stands the test of time you can always look at and you'll be like this is a Chloe bag this is Chloe and I landed on the Faye and even though I think you don't see the Faye as much it's still signature and iconic for Chloe. And if you're like, you know, you know your 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 luxury bags, you'll know the Faye. You know what I mean? You know the Faye. You when you see the Faye, you know that's the Faye. And it's an important bag. Um, so I'm going to go. My choice, most iconic for Chloe is the Faye. And I do feel like the Faye will never leave, even though we don't see it as much anymore. I think it's always gonna stay. It's always gonna stick around at Chloe. Next up is Celine. And I feel like Celine is kind of in the same boat as Chloe when it comes to like, you know, people talking about them, their popularity and stuff like that. They're always there, like Celine is always there, but it's not like, you know, the buzz of the town. And that's not in like, you know, a negative connotation for Celine. But I'm just saying like, you know, Celine is that girl, she knows herself. And you know, if you know her and you recognize her, then you know her and you recognize her. It is what it is. So for Celine, I am leaning towards the luggage. And there was a point where that was like hot cake. You know, that was the hot cake bag. And then I realized there was a point where people were like, oh, like really like 
trying to throw it out even though i feel like you shouldn't throw out your luggage <laughs> your luggage bag i feel like that bag it's timeless it's a staple it's still beautiful to wear and it's not going to it's like the alma from lv i'll say it's like classic but at the same time dated but not in a bad way like you know like it's just a classic dated bag and then i feel like you guys like okay what about the chanel classic flap would you consider that I, it, no that wouldn't be a classic dated bag you know what i mean maybe you guys don't know what i mean but it makes sense in my head <laughs> so let's talk about gucci now so for gucci it this was a little tough for me to figure out what I think is most iconic when it comes to handbag from Gucci so I think it's I'm landing on I've landed on the horse bit and the Marmont line um, I feel like those are those would be the most iconic especially the horse bit I think for Gucci um, I think Gucci is definitely you know one of those <laughs> one of those fashion houses that either you're rocking all of their things or you're not I yeah, like I don't know maybe there's I feel like, yeah, there's not in between when it comes to Gucci sometimes. I think that's the same thing as like Balenciaga. Like they kind of like to go into the extremes of like whatever style they're doing. So I think the horse bit would definitely be signature, iconic, like anything with the horse bit um, as far as bags. And then the Marmont line too. And then from Givenchy, uh, this one I feel like is a no-brainer. It is their Antigona bag. Antigona. No. Antigona. Antigona. <laughs> no. Um, Antigona bag. So I feel like that is definitely their most iconic from Givenchy. Uh, why did I say like that? I don't know. Uh, I don't know why. I'm like, I think I'm just like overly hyper today or something. But yes. <laughs> from Givenchy, it is their Antigona bag. Next up, we have YSL. And from their house, I would definitely say most iconic from them is their Zoc de Joy or Zoc de Joy um, I don't speak Spanish so part of my <laughs> pronunciation but I do believe that is definitely one of their most iconic and then I picked a second one and that is anything from their Lulu line you know I feel like those bags iconic those two iconic from YSL and I think the thing with YSL that kind of like doesn't hinder them but doesn't help them either is the fact that like overall YSL they just slap the YSL on it and then it's their bag they're done then <laughs> there's the design and like I said it has its pros and its cons but those two bags I feel like most iconic and I feel like YSL is always on the up and coming like I feel like they're constantly in their up and coming stage and they haven't hit that point where they're like BAM like everyone needs a YSL bag <laughs> Moving on to Valentino, and I feel like for Valentino, most iconic bag from this house is their Rock Stud Spike bag. I think the Roman Stud line is going to become like you know one of their most iconic as well, but it's too early for that. But as of right now, the Roman Stud Spike bag that is their most iconic bag. You recognize them when you see those spikes anywhere and everywhere you know it's valentino and i feel like that bag is what really like you know walked so it's it's what ran or it's what ran so the roman stud could walk <laughs> you guys i yeah it's one of those days guys moving on to dolce and cabana so if you guys have been guessing down in the comment section you have your own guesses i'm pretty sure we're all going to be spot on with this one and it is their sicily bag i feel like this this is like the only bag well okay it's not the only bag there are other bags that are you know fairly recognizable but worldwide i do think the sicily bag is definitely Dolce & Gabbana's cup of tea, you know, and it's very classic, very simple, it's not too out there, anyone can rock it, it just depends on the color you choose and the size. So that's definitely my choice from Dolce & Gabbana. So I'm going to end this video with Versace, Versace. And I feel like Versace is more like, you know, clothing and um, accessory, mm, clothing. I feel like that's where they shine the most compared to handbags. So I feel like I'm going to cheat here um, and kind of just 
say anything with the Medusa head and anything with their Valence with <laughs> Valentino with their Rosace print I feel like that would be just iconic when it comes to their bags because those are the bags that like you know we see more often and are more recognizable for Versace I'm kind of going based off of what's most like you know recognizable um, from their brand so I think anything with the Medusa head and also with their Versace print and that's pretty much it for this video let me know if like you know my list is similar to yours or are there bags that you were like no way this is way more iconic this is the bag everyone recognizes this brand for rather than what I said <laughs> as always thank you guys so much for watching this video if this is your first time watching please make sure to hit the subscribe button and come back for more videos and also please make sure to hit that like button as well bye